I welcome you to our classes, to our school. Our meeting today will be devoted to the fundamentals of self-knowledge. Our class is called Adequate Energy Exchange. I remind you that this seminar is part of the Ad Libitum department. And this department requires no prior knowledge or skills. We're not going to do long meditations in these classes. We're not going to immerse ourselves in thoughts in order to turn our consciousness inside out and see what's inside. Today we will try to touch the foundations of our own personality. We will try to understand what our personality consists of. And whether we have the ability and the qualities to describe this personality for ourselves in a very clear way. To stop perceiving ourselves as some kind of chaotic mess of thoughts, feelings, words, assumptions, sensations, and so on to somehow try to systematize everything, to make it more or less clear to us. Not to limit oneself to a certain framework, but to better understand the effects of one's own reaction to the surrounding reality. Because when you understand the reasons for your reactions, you understand what to expect from yourself and the people around you. Once you are aware of this, there is much you can do to resolve the conflict with the outside world and even benefit from it in some way. This conflict will not be excessive, that is, it won't take away your strength, your time, your resource, which means that this resource will be used exclusively for the benefit, for the creation, for the building of your own personality. Each of us has our own personal tasks in this world. And they are different for each person. And that's the very first thing we're going to try to deal with. First, we must establish a simple, immutable truth for ourselves. All people are different. We somehow forget this obvious truth and try to bring ourselves under the common denominator. We often forget that in addition to the denominator, there is a numerator that is no less important than some of the common ground on which we consider ourselves to be homo sapiens. The human being, his consciousness, fulfills a certain function here in this world. All of us together perform a certain collective function, and each of us performs a certain personal function. Some perform a function for themselves, and some perform a function for reality, as strange as that may sound. How can you determine what your personal function is? Are there any characteristics of recognition so that we can understand exactly whether it is you who exists for the world? Or whether the world exists for you? Can this function change depending on what stage of life we are in? Can our personality change over time? And what is personality? Is it an innate quality or is it acquired? This is what we will try to deal with. We are going to look for a certain image of our own uniqueness. These are the qualities that you are fully aware of and that show you as a person who is a little different from the people around you, rather than the qualities that show you as an exceptional person. What qualities make you different from the people around you? Should you develop these qualities? Should you value them more than your other abilities? That's what we're going to deal with.